Stage 4 cancers can be quite serious. It's actually very hard to see that a patient has developed stage 4 cancer until it's quite often quite late. Compared to other stage 4 cancers, when abdominal cancer is spread to the lining, it becomes a much more serious problem. These cancers are sort of like glue, and they actually cause blockages of the intestine, or they can fill the abdomen up with a lot of fluid. It causes a lot of distress, lots of symptoms, lots of problems for patients. The chemotherapy that is given through the IV doesn't actually get to these cancers in the peritoneum very well. And so you can imagine that when the chemo is at such low doses, it's not as effective. Surgery for removing these cancers is very precise. The peritoneum, it's as thin as saran wrap. You have to be very precise in being able to take this layer off. You gotta peel it off of the lining tissues and remove it off organs where it's really stuck. Sometimes we have to remove things like the ovaries, the uterus, the colon. We're trying to cure the cancer. We're trying to take out everything that is visible to make sure that we give our patients the best chance against this advanced cancer. And we give a score called the CC score. And really our goal is to get to what we call a CC0, which means no visible tumor is left inside, or CC1, where if there is some cancer, it's only like a very thin layer such that the chemotherapy that we put inside will penetrate across the tumor and, and kill it. HIPIC is hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. It works in conjunction with the cytoreductive surgery where we remove the tumors, but then this hot chemotherapy works on the surfaces to kind of sterilize them. HIPEC has three components to it. It has heat, it has the chemotherapy, and it has flow. We heat patients up to about 108 Fahrenheit, but it's usually for a short period of time, so like about an hour and a half. This chemotherapy actually distributes inside these tumors and kills them but it only works on the surfaces, so it actually doesn't penetrate very deep, so patients don't have the same side effects that you would get from, say, chemotherapy in the IV. It's able to deliver high concentrations of chemotherapy, killing cancer cells right where they are, without adding a lot of side effects to patients. Curing cancers like this, or at least helping make a big difference to cancers like this, requires a group of very smart, dedicated, motivated people who are thinking very hard together and who are passionate about the same things. And I think I find that here at Yale. We've built an excellent team of individuals that are here to take care of patients. We're adopting novel technology, new therapies, and I think our biggest goal is to get novel therapies to our patients. So I think it's a very interesting time where I feel like we can truly make a difference to our patients with peritoneal metastases.